I've been looking at different skins since I bought iPhone XS because I like my phone thin but I'm still afraid of scratches. So after MKBHD announced his edition of different skins, I thought that the time has come because as for me Marques is one of the greatest creators at YouTube space and I thought if I don't like it I can always tear it off, right? Spoiler, I decided to keep it. The skin ships in this beautiful box with different pattern. This particular one for iPhone XS cost me $25, which I think is a reasonable price for this level of quality. Inside you will find two skins for your phone and a special gift straight from MKBHD, the microfiber. There are also options with face mask and Rubik's cube for which you have to pay extra. Actually, I was surprised to find out that there are two skins in the box, even though they have different purposes. The first one covers only the back of the phone, while the precision fit also covers its edges. You can still consider one of these as a backup plan if you are not successful enough while applying the first one. Speaking about the process of applying skin onto your phone, well, I'm definitely not the best at sticking things right, but even for me it was easy. You peel the 3M paper off and reattach it back a little bit lower, then you just put your skin precisely on the camera bump and half of the job is done already. Now remove the 3M and finish the sticking process by heating your phone. This is a very important step. After all, I decided to stay with the standard fit of MKBHD Edition Debrand skin because I still like the metal frame of my iPhone XS. However, I think that the iPhone 12 lineup and Pro models, especially with their shiny frames, will benefit from the precision fit more. Now when your skin is applied, you can finally see what it looks like. At first I decided to add a yellow camera bump sticker that I bought separately, but I found out it is too bright for me. For me, Debron skin is not only a useful accessory that will help to keep my phone new, but also a very stylish way to express myself. I think this silicon colorway looks especially nice. The matte finish on the skin is also very pleasing to a touch. I feel like my phone became way grippier than it was. Before Debrand I was lucky enough to drop my iPhone twice and not smash it. And now I think that with all this grippiness the chance of dropping it is way lower. So coming to the conclusion, what are my impressions after spending a week with Debrand skin? I really like it. It looks nice, feels great and applies easy. I consider buying a Debrand skin for my laptop in the nearest future. And no, this video was not sponsored with Debrand. I wish it was, because Debrand is a really nice thing to recommend. However, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. See you next week.